my channel. As always, I am very excited for today's video and this one is going to be my lower body workout routine that I do at the gym. So this is the first video, actually no, my Valentine's Day video is the only other gym workout that I have filmed. I wanna do more of them, but especially cause I don't have my camera now, the angles, as you can tell from all my last videos, aren't the best, quality's not the best, and I was a little busy this weekend, so I was just like, well, I might as well knock out filming and my workout all at the same time, so that way there was no rushing to get anything done. I have two specific lower body days a week, and this one is my more relaxed one. Like, you still feel the burn, but it's not so high intensity or, like, it's not as long, I feel. And there's a couple body weight exercises that make it more easy. Now, I wasn't able to do everything I wanted to do, like the squats, the barbell squats you're gonna see normally are Smith Machine squats, but I couldn't get to them. I made it work, though, and you always make do with what you got. Every Every gym's gonna have different equipment and every person is going to be different in what they can or cannot accomplish in their workouts. But I thought I would just share my routine with you. I hope you enjoy it and I promise in the future they will get a lot better. But before we begin, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Samantha or Sammy for short and I'm a certified personal trainer as well as a young mom. If either or both of those things are of any interest to you, then please hit subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell so you can be informed when I upload all of my future content. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Samantha five underscores. And yes, it is five underscores because my name is very popular. Also go ahead and follow me on TikTok at Sammy for short. Now with all of that being said and out of the way, let's get in to the workout. To start off this workout, we are going to be doing a plie press. Now to do this exercise, you wanna have your back flat on the floor and then you're going to have your knees bent, bring your feet up, have the bottoms of your feet touching and then slowly press up towards the ceiling keeping it controlled you will feel this a lot in your adductors or those inner thighs and it looks very simple but it's an amazing way to get those legs fired up and going it's a lot more painful than you think it's going to be you're going to be doing this three times for 45 seconds you want to exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down the next move is a bridge adduction. So you could use a band with this if you want, but I'm focusing more on my thighs, so I will not be using the band. And you're just going to be in a glute bridge position with your hands at your side, your feet flat on the floor, lifting your hips up, so that there's a diagonal line from your shoulders towards your knees. And then you will be bringing your knees in and out, squeezing them together. You will be doing this move two times for one minute. Your third exercise is an inner leg pulse. So you're going to have one foot in front of you, the top foot in front of you when you're laying on your side, and then the bottom foot is going to be underneath of that one, pulsing up and down. Try to make sure that you are keeping your foot flexed and try not to move in your neck too much. It's going to be a very small movement, but you are still going to feel the burn and make sure that you are doing three sets of 15 to 20. Your next one is going to be a dumbbell calf raise. So you'll have two dumbbells in your hand, whatever weight you would like. For reference, I have 20 pounds in each hand for an extra 40 pounds added. And you're just gonna do calf raises. So lifting up onto your toes and then coming back down to your heels. It doesn't have to be anything too high. You will be feeling it. A lot of times it's the simple moves that really make a big difference. You will be doing this one two times for a minute. Next up you have a dumbbell goblet squat. So you're going to grab one large dumbbell, have your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, toes splayed out and keep your chest high. You're gonna squat down as low as you can, ideally until that dumbbell touches the floor or is very close to it. And then come up squeezing your glutes at the top. You will be doing this for four sets of 10. Next, you're going to be in that same goblet squat stance, but you'll be having a barbell at the top of your back or the back of your shoulders, whatever you'd like to describe it as. And then you're gonna keep that chest high again and squat down so it is another squat variation but now you're having the barbell 
as opposed to the dumbbell, which does have the resistance come from a different area. And I would argue to say that this one is a little bit more difficult. I did a higher repetition range with this, three sets of 20, so I did have a lower weight. I had about 40 pounds for this exercise. Your next one is a sumo deadlift. You will be doing three sets of 12 of these and you're going to have a barbell. This one I used 60 pounds for. You are going to hinge your hips back, have a flat back position, still have your knees slightly bent, bring the barbell as close to the ground before touching, and then thrusting your hips forward, you're going to come up and squeeze those glutes at the top. This whole movement should be coming from your lower body. Your upper body is only going to move as a result of those hips hinging back. And your final exercise, unfortunately I was unable to film, but it was just the adduction machine, which is really working your inner thighs. This one you would be doing four sets of 12, 10, 8, and 5. Now what that means is you would start at whatever weight feels kind of comfortable for you and you would do 12 reps you would up the weight a little bit and do 10 reps up the weight and do eight and then up the weight and do five so you're increasing the weight as you drop the reps now that was everything i had for you i hope you enjoy your workout when you are able to get into the gym and let me know in the comments what other workouts you would like to see from me as well as what was your favorite workout in this video Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, and share with your friends. And with all of that being said, I'm going to go. But before I do, I want to remind you all to stay positive, be active, and most importantly, do what keeps you healthy.